Hi everyone, Malibu Sean Beatman here again, and well... <coughs> I want to talk to all you people about... About my, my views here, about angst in... Reboots or trying to adapt a... Franchise from... At the previous generation's childhood? Don't. You have to, if you want people to come and see your film about, about a certain product from their childhood, like, I don't know, Jim and the Power Rangers, for example, which there's a lot of angst in that, those films, that for just for the trailers, and they weren't, actually, Power, the Power Rangers trailer did not come out yet, but it's showing all this angst. But... In Jim, it was showing angst and not, and all it wasn't, and all of the movie wasn't faithful to the franchise. And hell, to all you people out there trying to make you a film franchise movie based on a franchise from like the eighties and early nineties, you have to think on who your key demographic is. You know what? Pay tribute to that those fans. Keep it. Let them come see your franchise and hell. And have characters have moments that they people can relate to. <coughs> Plus, they having some characters who are good looking, getting well. Bullied and whatnot by other beautiful women is kind of weird, but you have to think, hmm, is this okay or isn't it? So, to all you people out there, pe people out there making out your fil these films that are having based on a franchise from the 80s and early 90s, don't. Make it too angsty that that so you can alienate those people in hell. Maybe, just maybe, you have to watch a few episodes of the original series to just actually get to see what the franchise feel is, so you can actually make it do your adaptation with loosely on that, but not make it almost like. Twilight and the Twi and Hunger Games. You had you had to think about the pe the people who love that though that the cheesy early nineties eighties type stuff as well. So keep your that's all I like to see. And hell, look at Jim and the Holograms, the movie that came out last year. And it wasn't. Jim and the Holograms. It was just some Jim knockoff. Because all the people who loved Jim ha had, or part of that so called film at the end, at the end, which the, which the creators of that film said, you know what? Let's get all these videos that these fans put in, put in there. And hell, some of the stuff videos were YouTube videos and hell. And did they ask the permission for put them put that those put that footage on YouTube? Uh, I mean the video. Is that actually a Hollywood film? No. So you need to think about that as well. Have a contest. Contact the per the person who did the video and actually put them. In a small role, or of the film, and it's Malibu Sean Bateman signing off.